um, added actually at the administrative level, uh, you get two issues there, the paralegal and the intern. Uh, I'll talk to the intern program first. I think this was a very good ad for us. Um, this year, yeah. uh, Mark was able to recruit a UNH law student uh, to come in uh, and work for free uh, during the summer, added value, um, and I think it was a good program to expand. Um, and in doing so, we think as we can recruit other people, I think it's a good opportunity to pay an intern to have a more effective working, choose a better candidate, that type of thing. It's a lot of work, and I think that's a reasonable thing to start. The second part, the paralegal, um, that was really in response, as I understand it, from, from the manager, uh, response from some of the board members, given the workload in there. Um, that's a fair amount of money to add to this budget, and you know my position is, I know Mark is interested in it, my position is paralegal uh, going rate is substantially higher than $25 an hour. Um, you know, it's board's choice. I would recommend, you know, personally my recommendation, I've shared this with Mark, is that we forego the paralegal this year and expand the intern, basically test drive it more, with more hours, pay somebody that we can count on to be there more consistently, and then see how that goes. And if that continues to work positively, then maybe we consider that paralegal further. All right, and again, we have a space need issue, uh, depending on the number of hours, putting additional people yeah. in there. That's my personal take on it. I don't know if Fred shares that or not, but he does. Uh, looking at it from uh, the perspective of what you're going to do with a paralegal, uh, if you're going to work that person uh, as a regular employee, you don't have the room. The intern uh, can work around the existing work staff that's up there. We don't have a place for these people to sit unless somebody's out. So maybe we do the intern to start build on that and if we need a paralegal at that point in time we can justify it then come back to the board with that justification after we do the research and the work it's a lot of money okay um, Rick I agree with what Fred just said Regina well but is the intern going to be available for what I mean I thought the whole point was so that Mark could actually be doing lawyer things and he could have someone in the office doing all the filing all the motions doing all the research for him I mean you know I worked as a paralegal for you pretty much you, you're an attorney but you just you didn't pass the bar you do all the same work right. so I don't think that I mean an intern is necessarily gonna I mean I think it will help him out but I don't think it's a replacement for a paralegal I mean I don't know I think maybe don't have the intern and have paralegal. That would be my suggestion. Because I think the budget is still, even with that, it's what, $240,000, the legal budget? And if you yes. add. 220, yeah. No, it's 225 with the paralegal in there and the intern out. Right. It's, only two, it's 225. Isn't that yeah. One? yeah. Oh, okay. It's already in there? Yeah. Oh, all right. I think yeah. we should wait till Rusty's here. Well, the, the only trouble is, I know Phil has a fairly strong opinion on this one, I believe. I shouldn't speak for anybody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I, I did, but as you know, there was a reorganization, and now um, legal comes under uh, Mr. Welch. Yeah. And I know I'm, I'm free to say that, but there, oh, was, yeah. there was an organization, and now um, I'm more inclined uh, to uh, uh, go with uh, uh, a variance looked at it. That and listen to them. Okay, so would, you're fine with wait, us waiting for Rusty? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, sure. We did look at it, and we, what we found was that the paralegal could only be here half time, and we really need that person full time to do what you want to do. But I got no place to put them physically. Okay, 